Put it together right here. All the way to the right. One more. Thank you. Right. And one more straight ahead, please. One more. We are back. Can you believe that? That is so real. Yeah. I keep saying that. What's it feel like? It's not real. It's just unrealistic. It is surreal. That's what it feels like. You know, just when everything stopped. And we were in our life. We had two days left of a soldier's play when, when Broadway shut down on March 12, 2020. So you just never knew if we'd come back. We thought a month or two. Now here we are a year and a half later. But it's so, so it's that much more um, exciting and you feel that much more blessed and, 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 and grateful. Grateful more than anything. Well, first of all, the ticket sales are great, but if you walk down Broadway on any of the streets where the theaters are, you just sense this palpable energy because everybody's getting back to doing what they love to do. It's more than a job. It's, it's part of their DNA. It's part of their being. And plus, they're all getting paid now, and uh, New York's coming back to life because without Broadway, New York isn't New York. Another piece. Oh, I'm good, thank you. It, it, it feels like so much time has passed and then it's been a blip. But um, whether whatever that is, it was very hard for uh, this community to go through it and to have the theater shut down, livelihoods, um, just a sense of being in the world. Um, it was a real struggle. And, and for me personally, um, to have so much work just about to be birthed and then suddenly stopped, um, I, I had a real period where I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be doing, where I was supposed to be going. So now to feel the energy and excitement of, of coming back together, it's, it's quite uh, exciting and, and, and uh, it certainly fills your heart. And Tom, all the way to the right. And one right here, please. Hold up, please. And Tom, one more. Lovely, thank you. One more center. Thank you. Roger, one more back this way. I think you captured it right. It's bittersweet. Um, I know that he's with me in spirit. I'm wearing his ring. Um, but it's also a celebration of resilience, and Terrence would want this community to be celebrating tonight. There's so much to be grateful for. Um, and Audra and Mike, Audra McDonald and Michael Shannon, in Frankie and Johnny and the Claire de Lune, was a dream that Terrence had for many, many years, and so I'm just grateful that we got to give it its beautiful production on Broadway, and um, it's tough, it's really tough, but uh, he got the Lifetime Achievement last year, and um, losing him has been extraordinarily painful, but I know he's with me in spirit tonight. Broadway and theater, live theater, is so magical. Theaters are sacred to me, so to be able to walk into a theater again and, and have that holy communion between the audience and the performers is everything. So I'm just very excited to be back. Lovely. Here, right here, center. One more time, back. And Audrey, one more. Eyes right here, one more. There you go. This way, Mike. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, all right. I had a clutch. I had a clutch, but I also have a husband. I want to pay for Okay. Well, Audrey. It's a special night. You know, I got back to New York just yesterday, and uh, the first thing I did was to go see a Broadway play. And uh, the people in the audience, everyone's just so excited. Um, it, it really is a, um, a demarcation of like this was at this place and in this moment of time we have come back. So it, was, it feels great. Uh, it, it was joyous. It was joyous. Uh, you realize that no matter. Uh, how technologically we become, how separated we become. It is so important to come back uh, and be connected as a group of people. And 
I mean, that's why we're artists, to turn off the lights and collectively come together to decide who we are and reflect on who we are. And so that's the thing that I love about it. I mean, there's probably so much that we learned, but um, I, I, we will return with a new, a renewed sense of gratitude and purpose for the performers. That's certainly true. I mean, um, like you said, it's just it was it was unfathomable to be without this thing for as long as we've gone without it. So I think we're going to return with a new sense of gratitude. I can't tell you how many people they said, what's going on? Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. I had no idea if we were going to be at a computer or if we were going to be live or, I mean, there were so many crazy propositions. One was to skip this year combine the last two years and then just have one big awards. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm glad that we're, we're at a position that we can do a live uh, broadcast, celebrate our year, get it put to bed and move forward, okay?